hot day today. It's been cloudy for the past week but today, oh man. You know it's kind of funny how people are saying, oh you know, take this time of lockdown to you know, catch up on some things that you can do because you have so much time you should, you know, start reading a book again or something. But that's kind of almost the opposite of what's happening to me because the lockdown doesn't really affect my work much. At the same time, you know how you have certain cues in your day for your routine and then like when, when you do certain things, you remember to do something else. Well, going downstairs and eating lunch used to be my cue for watching some of the lectures that I downloaded. And getting in the train used to be my cue to, you know, fetch a book and start reading. So now that I'm doing virtually none of that, my rate of listening to lectures and reading books is actually plummeting. So that's the irony of that. So I've been intending to wash this towel for a while now. But the last two times I did laundry, I forgot to bring the towel along, so I'm just washing the towel today. It's a bit of a waste of detergent, but I need this guy washed. I'm walking a lot less now just because I'm not, you know, walking in the station and then walking from the station to the destination and then doing the same thing, coming back. None of that is happening anymore. So maybe I should try to do some walking intentionally. So I don't know. Maybe we'll see if we can go take a walk tonight. After work, yeah. people out and that's kind of a loud exercise that is as long as you're doing it alone and you're keeping your distance from everyone else of course also don't travel to exercise just go somewhere nearby so that you know you don't have to use any transportation
kind of liking this day by day vlogging style actually. Not something funny that I realize is that this, you know, daily vlogging thing, it's very much like Instagram stories and Facebook stories and stuff, which I didn't really understand previously, but now I guess I do, right? Because day by day, you just kind of capture a slice of your life, I guess. Does that make me a millennial now? If Pete Buttigieg gets to be a millennial, then I get to be a millennial, right? Also, the other insight is that if you're leading a relatively unremarkable life like I am, then, you know, the thing that most obviously changes day by day and thus merits uh, capture is... The Prime Minister addressed the nation yesterday and without even getting into what he says, that probably means that Clempty Mall is packed to brick with panic buyers again. And I kind of wanted a good day. I miss having my steak and I kind of want to restock on my frozen cell of Bowser because that shit is pretty good. But it doesn't seem like a good idea right now. I think I'll go tomorrow instead. If there isn't too much of a queue, I think I may just freaking queue at this point. The struggle for steak is real. Frozen beef lasagna is actually quite a bit better than its frozen shepherd's pie cousin.
so uh, climbing different flat this week. today so I'm sweating like it's raining oh. well if you're thinking to yourself that that looks like content from last week well you'd be quite right but I've got news for you so the Prime Minister addressed the nation on Tuesday announcing that they're extending the circuit breaker period by four weeks. Which is completely not a surprise I suppose considering that the numbers still look quite concerning. So I think it's a good move to extend it. For the vlog though, obviously this means that the routine is going to continue for four more weeks. So I'm going to basically have to do the same thing, stay in Clementine, do the same thing for four more weeks. It's 3.36. Well, here we go again. Okay, so here's the plan. If there's a queue outside the grocery store, but the queue doesn't extend outside the building, then we're just gonna queue. If the queue extends outside the building, then... All right, no queue outside. Okay, not the worst. I think we're just gonna wait this queue out. accomplished. A few things were oddly missing. Okay, hey, mission accomplished. It's a good day. Although, being happy about groceries is kind of its own brand of depressing, I suppose. I've been staying up a bit to work on the hiking video every day after work and there's still quite a bit more to do there. Uh, the bounty is clever more.
said that I'm a fundamentally lazy person, and I am. But when steak is involved, then you know, it's time to work a bit harder. Because the stakes are raised. Welcome back to Saturday, the terminal point of another uneventful vlog cycle. <laughs> Speaking of the hiking video, it's coming along. I finally finished a full draft last night. Most of the creative elements of it is done. I finished writing the music, writing the narration. Now all that remains is to actually put everything together to record the narration, to make all the subtitles, make all the HUDs. So quite a bit more work to do, in other words. So <laughs> There's nothing quite like huddling with a group of tired. That was very painful, honestly. Well, I think I have a reasonable recording of all the narration bits now, and I'm taking a watermelon break. <laughs> Much deserved. Anyway, I have a feeling that it's a pretty long vlog already, so that's gonna do it for this week. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you next week. actually kind of cool. I didn't think there would be so many people doing the waving thing. Cynicism levels minus one maybe. <laughs> I don't know how to sing that song but it, you know I just got my headlight and just kind of waved it around a bit as well. You know, solidarity is not a bad thing I suppose. So. Good on you Singapore. Good on you.